Building a world-class FTC robot doesn't mean piling on complexity. It means doing well with the fundamentals. Team 24557 from Brazil proved this at the Into the Deep World Championships. And seeing their approach might just change how you build and how you think about polycarbonate. I'm Coach Pratt, and as an educator for over a decade, and having coached FTC national champions and Inspire Award winners, I know firsthand that smart, simple designs win. We're going to dive into their pit to see their effective intake and outtake, and their super clean cable management. If you want to build a top-tier robot by focusing on clean, effective design, then this is for you. Here's a quick breakdown about the 2024 FTC Seasons game Into the Deep. The game is played on a 3 by 3 meter field with two alliances with two robots on each red and blue alliance, respectively. Robots had to go into the center structure to collect plastic rectangular prisms and place them in the respective baskets on the corners of the field for eight points. Or they could bring a sample to a human. This human adds a special clip to the plastic piece and then that allows the robot to hang this piece from the center bar for 10 points. In the last stages of the match, the end game, robots can hang from the bottom rung for 15 points, or grab the bottom bar, lift themselves up off the ground, and then grab the top bar and lift themselves up for 30 points. There are more complexities to the game, but that's a rough idea. Now, let's see how this robot managed those challenges. Tell me about your approach this season. What did you decide to go with? And then what's working well on your pod? What do you so, like about it? This season, we prefer to do specimens. Mm -hmm. and, and the first year, we have the intake. Yep. They, we've, we build the intake using ice lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got a, a two-bar linkage here. Yeah. And you're running it off. Two torque servers. Yep. Uh -huh. For the intake. And it's just a one-to-one -one ratio here. Yeah. 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 Okay, yes. well. Yep. Why did you decide on a one-to-one -one here instead of just direct driving from your LinkedIn? Because we have a lot of problems in the servo. The, the internet axes and the gears are broken. Okay. So yep. we have a lot of issues. So you used it as a way of displacing the force yes. so, so that it more goes not, in your gearbox instead of the yes. uh, servo. So to not break the servo, we prefer to serve like a, a gear or yep. prefer to break out the linkage. Yep, 100%. 100%. Okay, so you got that sliding out. And it's using, are these like good the designs? Yeah. Uh huh. Here we have the intake that, that has a. The same one, one for one? Yeah. Yep. Uh huh. A pivot arm. And we have another servo to rotate the yep. clown. Mm hmm. And we have another servo to the clown. Yep. And the color sensor. So if we are in a blue alliance yep. and the robot catch the red sample, it'll be off. Mm -hmm. We'll not get it. I'm not penalties. Yep. Yeah. Hundred percent. Now it looks like you have holes on your claw here. Did something used to be attached? Yes. We and the first, the first robot, we put some screws. Yep. To make more pressure in the sample. Yep. But we noticed that it's not so. It was too much pressure. Yeah, it's too so much. Yeah, because we have this to make the same yep. geometry of the sample. Yep. Uh huh. And uh -huh. in, in the match, usually pick up this this one to oh, like this. Like uh, you yep. can get yep. it would pin like this side. Too. Yeah, and the screws are serving this. Yes. So we prefer uh -huh. to remove this screw. Yep. Yep. Hundred percent. In the autonomous, we use this thing yep. that it pulls down. Yep. And they can push the samples to observation zone to rotate. To, yes. To uh, make more. Yep. Our face. Faster the autonomous. Yes. Yeah. Another me another mechanism that we have the outtake. Mm -hmm. So with a lot a lot of analysis, yep. we put this uh, same height the wall. The wall. Yep. So the human player only needs to put this sample here. Yep. And the clown is the yep. same catch. Hundred percent. Yep. And rotate and put. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm assuming that rotate and place is yes. all in one button press. Yes. Yes. Yep. Because we have with this this analysis, we produce that we take the a robot that yep. can only moves the drive train to score. So we pick up and rotate and it lift this, the elevator and just push and do, just score. Yep. Another teams make it another movement to score like push yep. down. Yep. We only put the drive train in part. Right. Yep. And there's this uh-huh. apply. The other system are declined. I like your passive placement here. Yes. Just to have it down, having something hard mechanical really helps. It's, yes, the mechanical, yeah. some of the Stop. features mechanical is better than the program. Yes. Any, uh, you use to encoder yep. or Vivo Charm to? Yep. The server yep. only supports yes. 180 yes. degrees. You know, so but you use yes. continuous rotation yes. so that because you keep track of, yeah. To make the transfer, yep. Yep. the samples of the high So you use some through bore encoders to be able to keep track of that. Yeah. Now, I'm curious about your hang here because there's no way that these are strong enough to yes. support that. So how does that... So we put the elevator up Yep. and put the, this down. Yeah. Yeah. down yep. and turn off the servo. Okay. So they click and they hang. And it's supported on this portion. Yeah, yeah we clip it and the ascent and yeah. pulls down. So, so the servos don't make it any... This basically stops it from falling off yeah. this way, but it's not supporting the weight because that's being done there. Okay. Yeah. And you found that you needed two to be able to do that as opposed to one on a single bar? Because... What was the choice with two? Ah, yes. If moment. you had, yep, that makes perfect sense. You wouldn't slide through otherwise. Yep. And that's for sample when this arm comes up, yeah. this arm comes over, and that's your transfer. Staples. Yep. It cannot yep. be the same. Yep. Of model. course. Makes perfect sense because this is certainly isn't high enough. And your, your cable management is super clean. Yeah. I really like where <coughs> you fit in all your wires. Robot, Very we clean. have a lot of problems. So, yep. For this robot, we dedicate a lot for this. Yep, very clean. Yeah, it's not not common to have such clean. Yes, yeah, so we use also right. these yeah. things. Yes, yeah, Students the little cable the returns. Yeah, yeah, for like the ID card lanyard. Yeah, yeah. Right. that takes too. So yeah. you can rotate and to yep. not make stick. Yeah, like push to the center. Oh yeah, there's, I didn't notice that one. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, very liberal use of that. That's a great idea to be able to pull it back so that I can work out. Yeah, those are great little, great little chains. Yes. And with your plates, I'm assuming you guys have a CNC machine or you have access to a CNC machine for that? No. no or is it laser the, cut or is it water jet? The, use the CNC machine. Uh, the CNC, CNC machine. Yeah. Maybe as a sponsor. Yeah, Make have a sponsor uh, for cutters. Okay, yep. Yeah, so that makes it easy for you. Because nice. in our lab, you don't have a yes. CNC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. The early robot use polywood. Yep. Yes, uh-huh. uh, laser cuts. Yes. Yes. For Same, like this to, one. Yeah, like yeah. This. yeah, 100%. Hey, there's nothing wrong with it. Have you seen Litbox out of Lithuania? Yeah. Whole robots made out of six millimeter uh, multiplex. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. What are you most proud of on this? I think the outtake. Okay. Because we don't make any. Easy for scoring. Yes, we don't. We only use the drivetrain to score and don't need need any subsystem be activity to score. Yeah, yep. nice. In the drivetrain, nice, very cool. 